I'm sure there's a Mario Kart game that we've all played, right? Mario Kart Wii? It's like the Mario Kart. I don't think there's anyone here who hasn't played Mario Kart. It's not a debate that we've had, but it's a debate we're going to solve nonetheless. Uh, I'm going to do two different tier lists. I'm going to do one for the racetracks. So my tier list is Nintendo Masterclass, a joy to rage on, no complaints if it's picked, no strong feelings either way. It exists, that's about it. And then my last tier is Delete. But I've got a second one as well, which uh, is the music. There's enough uh, variants from the tracks to the music where I want to rate them separately. So I've got Playlist Worthy, got this on loop, I'm at least tapping my feet. No strong feelings. Track Dying B3, it's just the composer just had to make a track and this was it really. And they didn't even try. Let me get my headphones on. And let's get this started. You say Mario Kart Wii and no one bats an eye. You say Mario Kart Poo and everyone- Then everyone loses their minds! <laughs> I'm annoyed that that was the first time I heard that. Let me get the hat on as well. For maximum immersion. So everyone knows I'm a Nintendo soy boy. So the first one is uh, Luigi Circuit. Now, Luigi Circuit, you never really start off with your best track, do you? It's like you see these speed boosts off to the side. It's the one thing that kind of like makes this track a bit different. But what annoys me is that this track ba it just took that from Luigi Circuit in the GameCube version. So the one original, as un unless you count the Luigi statue, but I don't know, the Luigi statue doesn't really do too much for me, if I'm being honest. It exists. It kind of just exists. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. I do think there's some other tracks, beginner tracks that are better. I think, um... Luigi Raceway is a bit better. The GameCube Luigi Circuit is a bit better. As for the music. If you're making a playlist, would you include this? It's not really the best. Like, it's not track.mp3. It definitely isn't. But I don't have any strong feelings, you know what I'm saying? There's someone in this comment section said it. Um, you look, not as iconic as N64 Raceway or GameCube Circuit music, but it's awesome. You know what I mean? And that's how I feel about this. I think the GameCube one is better. Uh, but this one isn't bad, so I'm gonna put this in a uh, no strong feelings. Mew in the Meadows was one that, um, initially, I didn't really think very highly of. You know when this track was remade for the, uh, Mario Kart 8? I was kinda disappointed, because I thought- I always thought there were better tracks they could, uh, bring forward. But having played it in Mario Kart 8 and having seen it now, it's actually- I actually quite like it. I actually- maybe- maybe it's because the Mario Kart 8 version's grown on me. But I think this track is, uh, it's pretty nice. It's not, it's not top tier. It's pretty nice. Honestly, it's pretty nice. I would have put this, like, here. But I'm gonna put this here. I think it's, I think it's a little good. As for the music, the song, do you know what my favorite part about this song is, right? It's the, it's the, it's the guitar in the background. Like, if you listen to it from the, from the very beginning. It's the... I really like that. That sound just hits me, you know what I'm saying? I really like that guitar. To the point where I think the track gets weaker when in the second half of the song, it's removed. Because you see, in this part, hang on, when it loops again, you'll see it here. So you can hear it. And then they just stop it. And I think the track, like, it, you hear it. Like, I think the track gets noticeably weaker without that guitar. So while it's good, I think it kind of just, like, tapers off in the second half. But I think Luigi, I think Luigi's Circuit, I think it's better than Luigi's Circuit. Next is... Mushroom Gorge. Oh, Mushroom Gorge. <laughs> now, now, here we go, that Mushroom Gorge. This is, this is where the tier list starts to, uh, to find some variants. Right? Because the track itself, I don't think anyone's gonna disagree with me. No one's gonna disagree with me, right? It's an S. I absolutely love playing on this track. The music, though? It's good. But is it here? Nah, I can't put this here. Cause I'm looking at the other stages, and there's, there's some that deserve S. It might be the best- you think this is the best song? There's a few that are better for me personally. But there's like nothing in this song in particular that kind of just like makes me go, Oh shit, I like it. Like for example, I gave you the example of Moo Meadows, right? It was the guitar. In this one, there isn't really anything that jumps out at me, you know what I mean? It's just kind of like, it's a good track, but I think there has to be like something extra to get it to S for me. There has to be like a little- you know, the the cre the cherry on top. So it's good. I just can't put this in S. There's no chance. It's a bop! I might have it on loop, but it's definitely not S. The track is S. It's a Nintendo Masterclass. Nintendo Masterclass. The clapping's nice. But it's a bit like the Elite Four theme from Ruby Sapphire Emerald. Is the clapping enough to carry it? Maybe. Maybe according to some, but not according to me. S tier to play on, A tier to hear. What's next? Oh, here we go. Here we go, game. This is this is the one. 
I absolutely adore everything to do with this track, in all honesty. Without even, without even, let's let's just go and put this here, okay? Toad Factory is a music. Now the track itself. Where do we stand on the track? That's the question. You have a section that is risk reward. You know, you have the speed boost, but you have to be careful because you're gonna get squished, and that really slows you down. A very simple risk reward mechanic. And then you have this section as well. You gotta avoid the boxes while getting the item boxes. And then you've got this section as well. And like the the speeds change lanes as well every lap. And I think you got my favorite aspect about this track. My favorite aspect. You guys have to listen to this. The track doesn't loop until you hit this ramp. I don't know if you've ever noticed, but it's easily noticeable. <laughs> I absolutely adore the fact that the track loops when you hit that ramp. The mud part is... Pr I, would I would agree. I'm inclined to agree with you, Luke. It's probably the weakest part. But I still think it's really nice how you have to, like... You have to, like, maneuver in between the things. You know what I'm saying? In order to get that final boost. So it definitely sucks to, like, get caught on the wrong side of history. But I think it's... But I think it's just satisfying enough to... And I think the track... Is there any argument, gamers? Is there- is anyone- is anyone gonna disagree with me? Toad Factory's a legit S tier. Oh, banger. None of it sucks. One of the best maps ever made. Matty. Shake my hand, my dude. Based. BZ. So I think this is just an absolute Nintendo masterclass and playlist worthy. What's the next track we got, ladies and gentlemen? I feel like with Mario Circuit, at least soundtrack rise, I can't really rate it, can I? It's just the same as Luigi Circus. I'm just gonna put that there. Um, now the stage itself, I think this section does a very good job. It's, um, there's a very similar section in, uh, Mario Circuit for the, uh, GameCube. But I think the ramp does a very good job of showcasing to you that, hey, sometimes you're just gonna wanna take a fat shortcut, you know what I'm saying? And you can do that. Other than that, the stage doesn't really have anything, like, crazy good about it, you know what I'm saying? It's good, but it's nothing too crazy. So I'm gonna put it on... There's no complaints. And obviously it's the same as Luigi Circuit track uh, music wise, so... I can't really do anything different about that. The next one is, uh, Coconut... <laughs> We're gonna save Coconut Mall for last, let's save it for last. DK Summit, otherwise known in the UK, or the European version, as, uh, DK Snowboard Cross. I still don't know why sometimes they feel the need to change the names between localizations. I have no idea why. The track itself... I think this track does an excellent job of showcasing the one, uh, the unique, uh, addition that Mario Kart Wii made to Mario Kart, which is the tricks, you see that? And then you've got this section, this whole section here, that's just ramp. There's even item boxes to entice you. The shy guy is going up and down to also, you know, entice you to go up the ramps. I think this, this track does a very good job of showcasing the gimmick, uh, which is still in Mario Kart to this day. I think it's just a very fun track, honestly. It's a very, very fun track. It's a joy. It's an absolute joy. I'm never gonna complain. Uh, the music? I really like this part here. It doesn't do anything crazy unique. I just really like the way this part sounds. I like the, the way it sounds, you know? I'm gonna put this here. I got it on loop. Oh my god, this- this fucking- this fucking absolute nightmare of a track. <laughs> Is there anyone that actually likes this track? <laughs> There's any of you guys that like this, I'm about to disappoint all of you. I like that it's a ball lake of a track. Do you know what? I was actually really, really thinking about why I hate this track so much. And do you know what it is? This one section of this track is this part down here, right? Now, as a kid, I always used to main Baby Luigi. So if you're going down this section where there's like 12 other races, and you go down this section specifically, you're going to get bumped off 100% of the time, all right? I developed a, a hatred for this track, right? Is it unfair? Probably. But then again, it's my tier list. Delete. Get rid of it. Delete it from the game. I don't want it. I don't want it in my Mario Kart. Don't ever come to my Mario Kart ever again, okay? The fact that the, of all the stages they could have chose to remix for Mario Kart 8, they chose Warrior's Goldmine is an absolute insult to the other great stages out there, alright? Disgusting. Disgusting. Music? It's okay, I guess. That was the last track in Flower Cup, so now we're going to Star Cup. Daisy Circuit now. 
I don't remember what this track looks like that much. I need to I need to refresh myself. Because I remember this track being okay, but nothing like too special. So I just didn't want to I just need to refresh my memory. There's a little bit up there. There's the Luigi Daisy statue. And then the baby Luigi baby daisy statue. I do love the orange glow that the track has because it's in it's sunset. Watching back over it, it's it's okay. But there's nothing crazy about it. And even the soundtrack, I just, I like the way the instruments sound, but there's nothing like crazy about it, you know? There's just nothing crazy. I'm no strong feelings personally, soundtrack wise. No strong feelings. Like, uh, I think the fact that I forgot <laughs> the traffic cones are pretty intense. <laughs> they are pretty intense. I used to like knocking them all over. I think the fact that I forgot this track exists it has to put it in the, it exists, you know? It exists, that's about it. I'm sorry, Daisy Circuit stands. So what's the next on the list? Oh, Lord have mercy, we've got another. I think it starts off pretty normal. Like, this section is just pretty, like, eh. But I think it very quickly becomes better. You know what I'm saying? Like, this section here. I love this section. You have to stick to the track to gain speed, you know what I'm saying? And then, obviously, there's the, there's the waterfall section. You go down a waterfall. So once you go down into this section, it plays like an underwater version, you know? And then you've got... And then you've got this section, which I really, really love. So, you know, you've learned earlier that the water speeds you up, but then you have these like lightning things that will slow you down horribly if you touch them. So you wanna you wanna get the speed, but you also wanna avoid the the zap. And I think it's the perfect risk reward thing. You know what I'm saying? I think, like I said, it starts off a bit plain, but it very quickly ramps up into a uh, an absolute beauty of a track. In terms of the soundtrack, any 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 objections? The track itself. An absolute Nintendo masterclass. I still think Mushroom Gorge and Toad Factory are a bit better, but another beauty. If I was making a Mario Kart best of, Cooper Cave 100% is going in there. The only thing I would say is disappointing about this track, and it's not even this track's fault, is that when it was uh, remade for Mario Kart 7, they actually, rem I don't know if you guys remember, because you know, Mario Kart 7 is such a forgettable Mario Kart game, but you know the lightning section down here, like the lightning bolts? They completely removed them in the Mario Kart Evo, in the Mario Kart 7 version. Lord knows why, but they did. <laughs> they forgot it. Oh look, yeah, look, because this section's underwater, isn't it? So there's no lightning. There's fish, but there's no lightning. You see that? S tier track, S tier soundtrack. No, no complaints there. No complaints there. Oh, guys, An another banger alert, maybe. I absolutely love this. Everything about this is an underrated track. Uh, underrated? I don't know, man. Any any conversation I've ever had with someone about this game, you can't forget Maple Treeway. This is an unforgettable track. This is just... And my favorite section of this track as well is this part here. Is when it gets to this part. I love the subtlety of the guitar. When it comes in, like... Boom. And then a guitar man again. He tags in the piano guy. Guitar guy comes back for round two. By absolute, I love the harmonica here as well. Uh, I don't think I'm going to see any obje objections today, am I? I think it's... Uh, better than Cooper Cape, but not as good as Toad Factory for me. And then I love this, like, bit here, where, like, there's uh, the piles of leaves, and if you open them, if you drive through them, sometimes you get a mushroom, sometimes you get a banana, so it's a bit, you know, you can drive through them and see what you get, you know? Or sometimes there's nothing, even. But I quite like that. I think it's just a nice little touch. You've got the wigglers here that can kind of mess you up if you're not careful. Or the blue shell as well, according to this guy. And you have this section here, you have to drift out wide in order to get the boost, which can be a bit risky if you don't time your boost correctly. I think overall the track is pretty good. Is it as well designed as the others though? Mm. That's the question. Because like with Cooper Cape, you have the, the, the water speed boost. With Mushroom Gorge, you have the b uh, bouncy mushrooms. With Toad Factory, you have like a consistent theme of risk reward. The only mechanic that I would say I really like is the uh, bunch of leaves. Is that enough to take it to S tier though? Maybe not. Maybe not. It's, it's definitely a joy to rage on. But if we're talking design wise, I don't know. I can't really put it in S alongside these three. But what's next? Next, uh. Oh, I don't know about this one. Are there any, uh. 
Grumble Volcano stands here. I stand Grumble. Matty, you were, you've been so based for the longest time, Matty. That it's actually disappointing to see how cringe you are with this take. It's actually a little disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. Like Luke said, I hate how it crumbles. It's a cool detail, but it's annoying to play. I think that's exactly how I feel about this track. Is it a cool gimmick? Of course it is. Do I hate it? Yes, it's fucking dog shit. The crumbles make it fun. If we're talking about Apple, yeah, the crumble makes it fun. If we're talking about Grumble Volcano, the crumble doesn't make it fun, okay? Send, it, send, send him off. Send the dirty get off. Soundtrack wise though, let's have a listen. I know, to me, I'm just getting like real volcano level vibes. The Maple Tree Way, I love the harmonica, I love the guitar. Toast Factory, just the whole big brass band I absolutely love. Cooper Cape is just catchy as all fucking hell. What does this have? This has nothing. Right? It has nothing for me. It has nothing for me. I think it'd be very, very harsh to say they didn't even try. But this is definitely track.mp3. It just sounds like volcano area level dot mp3. So next up we have Dry Dry Ruins. Dry Dry Ruins. I don't really like desert levels that much. Honestly. And I think Dry Dry Ruins is probably the best desert level. But it's still a desert level. You know? I just don't like them that much. I don't like them that much at all. One aspect I will give this track though, and if you hear you can hear it, you can hear it in the in the game, is you'll hear it. At this point here, the track uh, goes into a different there's two sections of this track. There's the outside section and then there's the inside section, I think. So it plays this version. It plays this version when you're inside the actual temple. I like it when tracks do good things with music like that, make the stage like interact with the music. I'm a big sucker for that sort of thing. Does it make the track any better though? I, to be fair, I do like- I forgot this section was a thing, but I do like the fact that you have- you have to take the ramp up in order to get enough speed to avoid the sand. Like you have to- you have to do this ramp here. So you have enough speed to- I like that. I really like that. This temple here, uh, fills up with sand. So you can go down the middle in the first lap, but, uh, it fills up and up and you have to go around, which is- is nice that they make some variants, but it's not really too much. It doesn't change up the lap- so much that it makes a big difference. It's like, okay, you go straight or you go around. There's nothing, nothing crazy, you know what I mean? I'm putting in like, there's no strong feelings either way. It is easily the best desert track. But then again, when you're competing with Desert Ruins from the DS, Dry Dry uh, Desert from the GameCube, Calamari Desert from N64, um, Yoshi Desert from the Game Boy Advance, there's not, it's, there's not really too much competition, you know what I mean? It's like being the, the Kingpin in the Baby League, you know? It doesn't really matter. The track though? I'm not gonna lie, guys. It's a bop. I really like this track. I like this track a lot. I really like this. I'm putting it in A. I'm putting it in A. I really, really like this one. It's not as good as DK Summit or Mushroom Gorge, but I really, really like this. It, it sneaks into A tier for me. I absolutely adore it. This, the racetrack is a C. The soundtrack is an A, has to be. Fucking Moonview Highway. I have a lot of feelings about this track. Let's uh, let's just watch it, shall we? Let's watch. The beginning section is 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 quite something, isn't it? You have all these fucking cars, all these cars, and if you touch them even a bit, you roll over like a mother. You get so punished. So basically, you have a whole track, right, which is meant for twelve people. But yet, the only safe part about this track is right- You see how this guy is driving right in the middle? You can only drive right in the middle, or you, you just- you just suck. The car- the, the stage just fucks you up. And you have this section, which is a lot more open, there's a lot less cars in this section. Which, if you're asking me personally, I would have reversed this. I would have made it so that the beginning part is slow, but has few cars. But this part is fast, and has a lot of cars, so you're like drifting in and out. That would have been more fun. But right now, look, he's just, he's just driving. He's just driving and taking the- well, that was a bit dicey. But like, you see how few cars there are here? I would have flipped this map entirely. I would have made the beginning section have a lot of like, few cars. And I would have the other section that, yeah, you're speeding, you're weaving in between cars. It would have been quite fun. Do you know what also makes this disappointing as well? What makes this extra disappointing? Is the fact that this stage has been done before, but better. Because they got- you got Toad Turnbike here that does this concept way better. So look, you see how like, 
there's, there's still a few cars, but the stage is big enough to accommodate more players. You see that? So you're, you're not confined to just one tiny little sliver in the road. And of course, there's a ramp here to like mix things up too. You gotta stay under the thing. You got? Oh, can you fly over? Oh shit! You can actually fly over. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, there's a fucking sign that says, "Ah, uh, or well, I'm a, consider me silly." Um, but yeah, you see how like the stage is big enough to accommodate 12 people, and there's there's few enough cars where you won't get horribly punished. It's still punishing to touch one, but it's not as bad. So the fact that there's an entire ass stage that does this whole concept better, honestly, it makes this track so disappointing. I just get rid of it, honestly. I don't hate this as much as I hate Warriors Goldmine and Grumble Volcano, but from a design perspective, this stage fails. It fails at doing what it's supposed to do. When you have a when you have Toad Turnpike that does it so much better. As for the music though, there's a reason why I kept the music paused. Because the music though Oh, I love this. When when you're not when you're not dealing with absolute nonsense that this stage gives you. It tracks a bot. I don't think it's in the same lines as these three, but this one's a hard solid B. Let's go into the next one. Bowser's Castle. That's my sister's favorite map, but it's, it's so mid. You'd say this is mid? I think the one part, watching this track back, I think the one part that is definitely quite disappointing is I don't think they do enough with the forms, right? Like, for example, I understand maybe, like, the first form you see just being one on its own, but then you got you have, like, just one form here. Okay, that's fine as well, because you kind of got a drift, all right? And then here you still have one form, you know what I mean? Like, I think I think they, they go a bit too light on the forms, and then when they really step up the forms, the lap is about to end. Like, they still got one here. The only, like, difficult form sections is three here. So I feel like you could remove them and the difficulty isn't too much higher. But I think that's a bit disappointing. I do like this part. Oh, okay, this guy's getting f this guy's getting Mario Kart into shit. No complaints. And then track itself. I quite like it, but it's nothing. It's nothing too crazy. Is it enough to make me tap my foot? I'm probably gonna. It's probably the weakest of this bunch, honestly. Soundtrack wise, the soundtrack just doesn't really do anything for me, honestly. Just doesn't really do anything for me. Uh, but the racetrack itself, I quite like it. No complaints. It's it's uh it's, it's got enough difficulty in there to make it enjoyable. Is it as good as the other Bowser castles? Probably not. But nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it there. I think I think here is fine. I think a weak a weak B tier. I think is is fine. I feel like Mario went up to Rosalina and was like, yo, Rosa, you're going to be in Mario Kart? Yeah, 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 listen, can I borrow your homework from Super Mario Galaxy? And then she was like, okay, just don't make it too obvious. And the result is... Any, obje any objections? The racetrack-wise, though... I think this is easily the best Rainbow Road they've ever made. I think Mario, oddly enough, I think second goes to Mario Kart 7. I really, Mario Kart 7 being the mid Mario Kart it is, I think has the second best Rainbow Road for me personally. I think it's difficult enough, fast paced enough, uh, chaotic enough, where it just, it, it just, it hits all the bells that you want Rainbow Road to have. I think the problem with um, Mario Kart 8's Rainbow Road is that it's not difficult enough. Like, I know Rainbow Road has this reputation for being really difficult, and I think it has- to, it deserves that. It's the final track in the game. So the fact that Mario Kart's 8 one's actually really, really easy, uh, is- is thoroughly disappointing. I think Mario Kart, um, the game- the GameCube one, I think it's just way too long. It drags on way too long, that it just becomes, like, a, a sloggy mess. Um, I think, uh, the SNES one, I think is really, really solid. I'd put that in third. Uh, it's just- I don't think anyone's going to uh, be disappointed with me when I slap the- I think- I still think Toad Factory takes the uh, absolute king spot for me. But this- this track is a close second. In both the playlist department and the racetrack department. The uh, the overrated one. Is it overrated? Does it deserve its over- like how overrated it is, guys? It's the one. It's the- it's the track! Ding. It's the track, guys. It's the track. We're going to get some hipsters? Man, this track isn't even that good. This track isn't even that good. I wanna... Oh, who is it? Who's gonna say it first? Because is this track overrated? Absolutely. fucking lootly Is it a baller? Absolutely. fucking lootly mm -mm -mm. 
I think it claims I think it claims the the silver spot for me. I just the accordion part here. I love the accordion. It's just an instrument that I absolutely adore. <laughs> Racetrack though? Let's have a look at the racetrack, shall we? Let's have a look at the racetrack. If anything, I think this part, this part of the track, I think is maybe a bit, I would argue this part of the track punishes you way too much. Because as you guys might know, if you pick the wrong escalator to go up, you slow down to an absolute crawl. You don't even move. You have to stop, reverse, and then pick the right escalator, which I think can be really, really punishing. All right, so guys, guys, here's the question. Did you go up or did you go down on this section? Okay, I always used to go up because I liked jumping up. This guy goes right, which is which is lame. But like, I used to go up because I used to like jumping down from really, really high. Who the fuck? Who went down? Exactly, who went down? Technically, yeah, the down way is fast. I know that. Look at that. It's not even a competition. It's not even a competition. Based and up the field. Well done, chat. Well done. <laughs> I think it's. I think the the track itself. I think is low S. I think it's still S tier. The track. Uh, the race track, should I say? Uh. I think it gets a silver medal in terms of uh, uh, soundtrack, but in terms of racetrack, I'm, uh, it's a low S. I think Cooper Cape, Mushroom Gorge, Rainbow Road, Toad Factory, I think we'll do it a little better, but there it is. But right, so we get to Peach Beach. We're getting into the retro tracks now. Let me take a drink. I'm fucking thirsty as well. Uh, Peach Beach is phenomenal. We're so goddamn annoying. The removed green pipe shortcut. Yeah, I know. I know exactly what you're talking about. Here's the thing we're going to get into. If we're rating these retro courses, do we rate them in relation to their original. I'd say it's a fact. That, yeah, okay, I think it's fair. As Matty said, uh, there used to be, right on the left here, you could go inside a pipe to get like a double item box, but you can't do that in this version. Uh, it was slower, yeah. So if you went to the left and got a double, not only would you be last place, so you'd get a really good double item, but it also, uh, it also give you a double instead of a single. So I can understand why they removed it, because since there's no double boxes, um, they removed it, which I think makes sense. So I'm not going to hold it too much on this one, mate. I know it's annoying, but like, would someone really, in this version of the track, would someone really turn left to go to take 10, like a three, four second detour just to get a single item box? Probably not, right? Probably not. Personally, I'm not going to hold it over the stage that much. I think it's a quite simple track. Um, it has a very simple mechanic. Uh, like I said, I really like risk reward stuff in Mario Kart. So... The tide gets lower, which means you can like, because obviously the tide is going up and down. So if it's low tide, you can like cut in the in the tide. You know what I'm saying? But that also puts you in the range of all these cataquacks. I'll just fling you up and take you a lot of time. So it's um a bit risk reward. I quite like it. It's quite a simple one because it's a simple stage. It's like a beginner track, so they want to keep it simple. I'm not complaining if it's picked. Um, as for the soundtrack wise, I quite like it. I quite like it honestly. Um, but it's nothing too crazy. You know what I mean? Like, am I tapping my feet when I play this track? Probably not. Um, but I also, I, don't, I can't, I'm not going to put no strong feelings because I really like it. I, it just sounds nice and pleasant. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put it here at least. I don't think it's uh, bad enough to put in no strong feelings. I, I, I think it's pretty solid. What's next though? That's the question. What's next? Next is uh, Yoshi Falls. I was just about to say that. I think, Kevin, you just stole the words right from my mouth. This is probably the most okay track that exists. I have literally zero feelings. It exists. That's just about it, honestly. And uh, the music is just... The music just doesn't... Does it sound good? I guess, but... <laughs> it's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Ghost Valley, holy shit. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. I really like that. I really like the way that sounds. The falling blocks rarely mattered on this map, but it's a good map with lots of tight turns and the atmosphere is nailed perfectly. That's, I think that's probably the best review of this track. I I really like the mechanic that they have with the falling blocks. What annoys me is that they don't really matter that much, if that makes sense. What I think would have been cool is that, you know how like each, of, so basically uh, each of these blocks here, you see on the left, on the right, um, if you hit them, they fall off. So essentially the more clumsy you are, the harder the track gets to stay on. Now, each of these segments are so small, though, that bumping on one isn't really that punishing. Now, you could argue that it doesn't really matter that they're that, not that punishing because it's an early game track. It's not supposed to punish you that much. I think this is what? We're still in the um, the uh, Shell Cup. So this is early game. So the idea of it being that punishing 
it shouldn't be that punishing because it's an early game track, which is fair. But I personally would have liked um, a variation where bumping on the sides maybe caused a bunch of them to fall. That would have been more interesting. But again, it's an early game track, so you can't really expect it to be too hard. Um, overall, I think I like the atmosphere. I like the sound. Where would I put it? That's the question. Where would I put this? I don't really have any strong feelings, honestly. I don't really have any strong feelings on the track wise. I think I'm just gonna put it in like mid. Is it good enough to is the sound good enough to go up here? Nah. Is the racetrack good enough to go up here? Probably not. I think that's fair. I think the one thing I really like about this track, like watching it, one thing I really, really like about this track is that you can tell it's not built for 12 people. So it it's a lot more intimate, which makes for a lot more chaos if uh, you're stuck in the pack. Also, um, one thing I, I used to like doing a lot, I don't know if you guys did this, I'm sure you did, but um, you see this whole big ass mountain, you could, you could like sidestep most of it. You couldn't, you couldn't go to the top of the mountain. If you went to the top of the mountain, Lakita would just pick you up and drop you back. You had, but you could like go around the side in such a way where it'd be such a good shortcut if you had three mushrooms. Uh, one missed opportunity is turn the uh, pipe tunnel into a half pipe. That's true. Now that you mentioned that, mate, honestly, this being a half pipe would have been so good. But the track, music-wise, it doesn't do anything too crazy unique. But it, it just sounds good. You know what I mean? Sometimes, sometimes a track doesn't have to do anything crazy to like make you tap your feet. You know? Bum, 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 bum. Racetrack wise, I think it's okay. It's either here or here. You know? I think it has just enough going for it where I'm gonna put it here. I'm not complaining if it's picked. Just enough going for it. What's next on the list? Sherbert Lands? Oh, fucking hell. Ice stages and Mario Kart. Can you think of a, least in a less interesting combination? But you know the one thing that instantly makes this track delete for me? I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you the I'm gonna show you the one thing that makes this track delete for me. Is the fact that so like you can see on the map, but so many of these turns are a little bit like they have that spiked edge. Most Mario Kart stages have the edges curved, so you can like curve along with the edges. But this one, if you curve just wrong, punished. And I hate that. Uh, Sherbert Land, you can you can go, you can just go. And the li music wise, hey Mr. Nintendo, uh, I need ice music. Okay, I'm gonna make ice music. Any objections? All right, what's the next track? Next track is Shy Guy Beach. I really like Shy Guy Beach. This is summer music. One thing I really like the bombs that the the ship in the background, the Shy Guy pirate ship in the background. The bombs do a lot of fucking devastating damage. Like these bombs do have massive explosions, um, which is actually an improvement from the Game Boy Advance version. Because in the Game Boy Advance version, um, the bombs that they flung didn't really do anything. They just kind of blow up really quickly and really small. You see the bomb boom? You see how big they are? Fucking huge, mate. Ah, I quite like it. Music-wise, I like it. I like it. I'm tapping my feet. I'm tapping my feet. I'm tapping my feet. To race on this track? I'm not complaining. Solid. It's just a solid, solid track. This fucking stage. Any uh, Delfino Square enjoyers in the chat? Raise your hands. Raise your hands. My hand is all the way up. One of the best stages from the DS. Hands down. I just love the atmosphere of the stage. You know, I just love driving this idea of driving through a city. You know what I mean? I just really like it. Like, it's quite simple. They make you choose a path. You know, you got you got this part here, so you could um drop. The, I don't know if you guys did this. I'm sure you did as well, right? But you, if you wanted a, another item, you could just drop to the left and grab another item. Or if you had a mushroom, you could take that shortcut on the right. So you could go for either or. You could get another item. You could go for the mushroom, or you could stay in the middle and keep your speed. And then there's obviously the big ramp at the end, which I really liked. That just felt good to do. You know what I mean? Like when the ramp was up, you did a nice big trick. It just felt good. You know. It really f made you feel like you're playing Mario Kart. Uh, soundtrack wise, actually no no. Let's let's do the race track because race track wise, there's no exceptions. There's no there's no 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 further questions, Your Honor. No further questions. Masterclass. Uh, now soundtrack wise, I really like it. Um, is it good enough to be in the playlist though? Probably not. I got it on loop. 
Is it in the same vein as these five? Probably not. I'd say it's, it's better than Dry Dry Ruins. Not as good as DK Summer. I like the track. It sounds nice. It's A. But the racetrack itself? S. The next, we know what's next, right? This is probably, the, it's probably one of the best stages in the GameCube version. And I think it's one of the best stages in the Wii version. I absolutely adore this stage. The amount of times I played the stage as a kid. Unreal. And I played it even more in Mario Kart Wii. Oh, this guy missed the ramp. Lame. They also added some um, things on the side there. So you can ramp up and grab another item if you want. And of course, the piranha section with the, with the fire. Ah, uh, this section is great. But for going racetrack, I absolutely adore this stage. Absolutely adore it. I'd say better than better than Rainbow Road, I would say. Not as good as Toad Factory. Toad Factory's still got the top. Or well, Waluigi Stadium is, is my new silver medal. Soundtrack-wise? It's simple. Effective. Is it enough to be in playlist though? Probably not. High A tier though. High A tier. Very beautiful. What is next? Desert Hills. Oh boy. Any objections? It's a desert stage. They fucking suck. Um, the question is, is the music any good? It's just desert track. There's nothing about it. Like, like I said, Dry Dry, what's it? Dry Dry Ruins. W ruins? Ruins? Ruins does such a good job of being a desert. Like when you, you're in the same game as Dry Dry Ruins and this is what you're bringing to the party. This is what you're bringing to the party, really? Mid. Not even mid. Sucky. The next track is Bowser Castle 3. When they were making this track, they were just like, Hey, um, you know how Bowser Castle 1, 2, and 4 have like a red, co orange color palette to represent Bowser? How about the third one is just blue? Blue. I think it provides a nice balance of like hazardousness and like sharp enough turns. There's that item box to the side, which is, you know, you can you can risk getting it. There's also fireballs and item boxes that fly up if you want to risk trying to get one of those. And I think this ending section, like I think the, the, the stage ends kind of, I know what, there's this thwomp here that no one's ever going to drive into. Like this part's quite narrow and if it's like a photo finish, it can get pretty tense. But... I think the, the stage starts off quite strong, but then tapers off, I would say. Uh, as for how I feel about it, Bowser Castle. Um, there's, there's, there's so many other better stages. As for the soundtrack, though, I really like this. I really like it. I like the music better than the stage. Is it enough to make me tap my foot? I'd say so. Bing, 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 bing. I like it. It's solid. What's next? DK Jungle Parkway. Anyone, anyone getting eh feelings from this track, or is it just me? This feels like the beta version of DK Mountain. It exists. It exists. The only cool thing is the ultra shortcut. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying not to base my uh, tier list based off ultra shortcuts because I don't really do ultra shortcuts. I'm not really a speedrunner. Right. What's next? Music wise. And there's no ob objections. The question is... Is it good enough to be an S-tier racetrack? Now, one thing that kind of disappoints me about this track is that this midsection is kind of empty. So you get this drift here, you get this turn here, right? Like, what's going on here, you know what I mean? And this midsection has nothing going for it. And there's nothing, there's literally nothing here, look. And then you get to the piranha plants, which are really easy to avoid. You can just go down the middle. It's not really a hazard, you know what I mean? And, and then the Goomba part, which I think combined with the bumpiness of the terrain makes for a decent uh, hazard. And I think these piranha parts at the end are quite nice as well because you have to like, because since you're drifting, you might forget to like go down the middle. So you have to drift this turn to get speed, but also go down the middle to avoid it, which I think is quite nice. But I think there's this big section of the track that just does nothing. I can't put this in S, there's no way. Can I put this in A? Alongside Maple Treeway and DK Summit? I don't know. Uh, I'm not feeling it, I'm not feeling it. But can I put this here? Absolutely I can, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. No complaints. If someone picks Mario Circuit, 
Hey, let's play, let's, let's play ball. Let's play cart. Going from Mario Circuit straight into another Mario Circuit. Super Nintendo track. Music? Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong, Spongy. You're not wrong. Music-wise? I'm tapping my feet. I'm tapping my feet. I would put this... I'll put this about here. I'd say at the top of the tier, actually. But the racetrack-wise? Aesthetically? Boring. To race on? Pretty boring. Could you say that's a bit unfair for me to say? Because this is a Super Nintendo track? Yeah, it might be a little unfair for me to say. But... Ratio plus cringe. What's next? Peach Peach Gardens. Oh, this this one's an absolute. The music, man. This section as well of the track with the chain chomps. One thing I absolutely adore is that. When you're going into the chain chomp section, you're high enough so you can see all the chain chomps. So it gives you a split second to be like, okay, there's one left, right, middle. That one's going, the one in the middle is going left, the one there's going up, the one there's going down. How do I make my play? And then you can make your play from there. You have like a very quick fraction of a second to take a glance and decide what you're gonna do. And if you're and if you risk going near one of the chain chomps, you're rewarded with an item, which I think is fair. Soundtrack wise. I'm tapping my feet, gamers. I'm not gonna lie to you. -da 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 -da. Racetrack wise, I absolutely adore this course. Is it S? It's not S, but it's an absolute joy to play. I love Peach Gardens. Absolutely adore it. It's a solid, solid track. And what's next? Ooh, I, uh, have we got another certified hood classic on our hands, Mary? This to me feels like what DK Jungle Parkway was supposed to be. You know what I mean? I used to. <laughs> this might sound really silly. But like as a kid, I used to play hide and seek on this map so much. I don't know why this map specifically But we used to play hide and seek on this map. What we do, by the way, what we do is because the game was split screen so you're like, oh, you could just screen watch. No What you would do is I would hide somewhere I would take like this piece of cardboard that we have block off my side of the screen And then the other person would have like 30 seconds to find me That's what we used to play so much on this. I don't know why it was this track but we played it so much on this fucking track. I don't know why. I don't know why. So I have a lot of I have a lot of nostalgia for this track. I'm not gonna lie. You have these like rocks that are supposed to be hazards. You see these rocks that are like flying down on the side there. They're supposed to be hazardous, but I think they're a bit too far away to really be hazardous to anyone. Now they, these rocks on the other hand, the ones that come in here, if they get big enough, they can genuinely cause you. Look, you see how big? You see that? Because some of the rocks they're random, the size of them. And then you have um this section here, which would normally be tough. There's a rock, by the way, that comes from, uh, like, here downwards. But, as this person's gonna show you, you can just skip this entire section by just jumping over there. And you get an item as well, so... And then the bridge that- Oh, this is br this is a- This is a deadlier bridge than PewDiePie bridge, guys, I'm telling you. If someone has a higher weight class on this bridge, and you're on this bridge, you're getting knocked off. 100% of the time. And, I know this from experience, if you get knocked off this bridge, you go to the beginning of the bridge. Unless you're right at the very end, like, around... Here? If you get knocked off, going back to the beginning, is harsh. Very harsh. So this bridge has destroyed many a hope for me getting a, a gold uh, trophy sometimes. Got a lot of nostalgia, so if you want to take my opinion with a grain of salt, by all means do so. But it's an absolute joy to rage on. Music-wise, it doesn't do anything crazy special, but it's got me tapping my feet. does a good job of being jungly, if that's a word. And I think the final track, the final track... Bowser Castle N64. How do we feel about this, guys? How do we feel about this? It is honestly a bit disappointing. This is the final track that I have to rate on my tier list. Because it's such a mid... Hang on. Also, I wanna... Oh, can I... You guys noticed it, right? So, you know how I said we used to play hide and seek? Uh, <laughs> now, this stage... The thwomps in this stage used to piss me off when I was younger, right? So, do you know what I'll do? Every now and again... We would, uh, me and my siblings would go thwomp shaming. Now, what that would entail is that for some reason, there is a thwomp on this track that's just sitting in jail. You notice him over there, right? Right there. Right there. He's just sitting in jail. Sometimes I would, me and my siblings would just boot up this track and just laugh at that thwomp. <laughs> it seems really stupid. But we hated it. We, we always laughed 
at the fact that there was just this thwomp in jail. I don't know. I don't know why he's in jail, mate. I don't know why he's in jail. But it used to make me laugh. Oh, you ne Yo, you guys, did you guys never notice this? Because I'm thinking, oh, in the final lap, does he get released? And maybe there's an extra thwomp on the track. So let's check, actually. As far as I remember, he stays there the entire race. So let's quickly do it, shall we? Let's, let's uh, quickly jump to the second lap. Let's check if he's still there. He's still there. He's still there in the second lap. Let's check the final lap. As I'm, I'm almost certain he stays there for the whole game. And yet, final lap, he's still in jail. He's the motherfucker is still in jail. So yeah, he does stay there the whole race. Lord knows why he's there. Uh, the thump has always been a walking out. True. Sentence for not crushing Mario. True. Five physics and float like the others. True. I think a hide and seek playing up your observation. <laughs> True! You guys are truing way too hard. But let's let's uh, let's get back to this stage. I think this I think me telling that story of how I used to play hide and seek is probably more interesting than this stage. What this feels like is if you gave me like as a normie, right? I don't I'm not a developer. I don't know what makes a good racetrack. But if you I feel like if you gave me like castle level assets and castle level music and said, hey, Musty, just make a castle, Bowser Castle for us. We're running out of time. We've got two days before this game ships. We have to go golden in a day. I feel like I probably could have made this. Even the Bowser Castle in this fucking game. Like, even, it gets overshadowed by its own Bowser. This Bowser Castle is thoroughly more interesting. It's got that, what, this big ball section over here? But there's that big Bowser in the, in the middle there, chucking a giant-ass ball. So you can go down the middle, because um, there's, a, there's a small ramp in the middle there. Um, if the bow, if the if you can risk it, there's a small ramp in the middle, so you can just go straight, you know, and you don't have to go up the ramps. But more often than not, you're probably gonna have to go up to the ramps to avoid it. This whole section destroys this whole ass track. Could you, would you say that's harsh because this was like developed for the N64? Maybe. And like I don't know, they've probably gotten better at uh, designing Mario uh, Mario Kart tracks. True, but do you know what else I think? Um, it's gonna be harsh. It's probably the best stage that just exists. It's probably the best stage that just about exists, but ultimately, it just exists. I feel like you could remove these six stages from this Mario Kart game, and I don't think anyone's going to complain, personally. And that includes Bowser Castle. It's the final stage of the game, or at least of the, of the, 32, uh, of the retro tracks, and it's just... It's just very, very mid. <laughs> it's just very, very disappointing, honestly. Even the music... It gives me nothing. Uh, and the track itself, uh, they didn't even- This is probably the only one that I'm gonna put in, they didn't even try. I mean, you know, I'm gonna put DJ Jungle Parkway in there as well. Cause I don't think they tried for that neither. But these two tracks are the only two tracks where I feel like they didn't even- They could've just- I think we've, we're finally done, are we? This is the final list, guys. This is the final list, so. That's right. So, is it time for me to get angry at your tier lists now? Let us have a look. Kebab man. So kebab, I think you just did the one tier list. Uh, Mushroom Gorge, Maple Tree Bear, and Coconut Mall as your top tier. Good choice. High tier is DK Summit, Cooper Cape, Moonview. Moonview Highway? My man. My guy. What's going on? Toad Factory is mid. Toad Factory in mid. Oh, no, my God. Kevin, no. You were supposed to be the chosen. You can't do this to me. Is it Silly's one? Is it, did you just do the one? I think you just did the one, right? Here we go. Rainbow Road. Silly, do you need that? You put Luigi Circuit and Mario Circuit 3 in top? As in, like, the creme de la creme? Yeah, look at this guy. Get a load of this fucking guy. Why is Moonview that high? Why is N64 Bowser Castle that high? I don't know, man. Spare toaster. Let's see. Should be in Mario Kart 9. Coconut Mall, Rainbow Road. Whoa! Whoa, you were so close. You were this close to greatness. Why is Wario's Goldmine gonna be... Mario's Goldmine is all... Oh, I can't... F I'm so mad I can't talk. And just remove it, please, for the... Shy Guy... How many of you niggas hate Shy Guy Beach? Shy Guy Beach is fine! Ah, uh, Holly. What's going on, Holly? Are we gonna fight as well, Holly? Are we gonna fight? Are we fighting today? Top tier? Cooper Cape? Coconut Mall? Maple Treeway? Toad Factory? DK Man? Aye, aye, I like. High tier? DK Summit? Peach Beach? Mushroom Gorge? Am I the only- like, I feel like I'm being gaslit in real time. Like, 
Why does everyone love this shit stage? No, what? Oh, Holly. Oh, Holly. Holly, 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 Holly. I think we're gonna... Waluigi Stadium in low? I live in a world, I live in a society where people are rating Waluigi Stadium low and Warriors Goldmine high. So this is Shadow Ninja's Mario Kart uh, OST. This is the soundtrack. Cat Jams. Uh, top 3 Cat Jams. Coconut Mall, Toad Factory, Maple Treeway. Amazing. Uh, yeah. Yoshi Falls? I don't, know about, about, I don't know about that one, Shadow Ninja. I don't know about that one, Chief. What about what about the actual tracks itself, though? DK Summit, DK Mountain, Warrior. Whoa! I think I do. I, I think I'm just on the wrong side of history. Where's Waluigi Stadium? And the Waluigi Stadium is. Uh, I'm just. Oh, that's it. I'm just. Uh, it's you, you Zoomers are fucking zooming all over me right now. What is up with you guys? What's going on? What's going on? Were you not raised right? Uh, course list. Here we go. Here we go, G-Man. Waluigi Stadium. I knew I could trust G-Man to be on the right side of history. But he also has Warrior Goldmine on high, so... I have to knock a few points off for that. Warrior Goldmine Supremacy. We're gaslighting you, Musty. <laughs> I really want to. I think this was this was very fun. This is actually very fun to do. Next, I think I want to do a Mario Kart 8 one because I think a lot of the tracks in Mario Kart 8 are amazing. I go a little bit crazy sometimes. I get a little bit out of control with my rhymes. Good God, hit you a little slide. Been down to two toes in the slide. I said the dance floor. Yeah, I keep on for my bone hole. Let's cool if you love me. 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 Let's cool